Let us begin. I'm Captain Wiley, all right, I'm your company commander. This is Fire Support Officer Captain Olson. And we have XO Captain Goodwill here. He'll also be filling in for the first sergeant who is uh, he's out dealing with troubled soldiers right now. So, this is your company hot water brief for Operation New York. Next slide. Company task force, we have all three of our organic platoons. We also have an attached platoon, fourth platoon Delta Company from the weapons company. Third platoon is a decisive operation. You will have all your organic heat weapon systems. You'll also have a sapper squad attached. That'll be second squad, first platoon, op company, seventh engineers. Task destroy, purpose prevent. Shape and operation number one is first platoon. You have all your organic heat weapon systems. You also have a sapper squad attached. And that'll be first squad, first platoon, op company, seventh engineers. Your task is to seize, purpose prevent. Shape and operation two is fourth platoon delta. Uh, they'll have six Humvees with them. So two of those will have Mark 19s, uh, two of those will have 50 cals, and two will have 240s. Task to screen, purpose to allow. And then shape and operation three is second platoon. They have all organic key weapon systems. They'll be the company reserve, know how the planning priorities are, defend the company assembly area, reinforce the decisive spot, and then reinforce the shape and out one. Next slide. Area of operations. All right, so we'll be operating in the greater AO Egypt as usual. The specific sub AOs that we'll be operating in though are AO Billings, AO Eugene, and then AO Toledo. So to box you into that AO, uh, to the north we have the 81 Northern, which coincides with the Jack Syracuse. To the east we have the 79 Easting, which coincides with the uh, Fire Race Buckner. To the south we have 75 Northern, which aligns with MSR Lease. And then to the west we have the 77 Easting, which aligns with Objective Buffalo. To fam familiarize you with our AO, to the north and the city of Jet Syracuse, we have Burke Mountain and Mount Rascal. So those are most those are the major train features up there. In the city of Firebase Button, we have uh, Lake Popolomid. And west of that we have Bull Hill, which is where the company assembly area is going to be. And then down near Objective Buffalo, we have Black Cat Mountain and Florence Mountain. Alright, for area of interest. So uh, close air support, the Arianes have no close air support, so it'll be a non-issue for this operation. For indirect fires and artillery, down south here in AO Austria, they have 82 millimeter mortars as well as 152 millimeter artillery. Uh, the trigger for the use of that will likely be if they identify any of our massing of forces within the AO, and the response time on that is approximately 10 minutes. For reinforcements, uh, in addition to this mechanized platoon here, which we'll talk about later, they also have a, uh, an element of a company minus armor element, all right? Their response time is approximately 60 minutes. The trigger for uh, them to be dedicated to our O, we believe, will be an attack on Objective Syracuse, or if this mechanized platoon here, if they take a loss of two tanks or more, then likely they'll call for that armor element. And then lastly, civilians. As you guys know, within AO Egypt, not a, not a large civilian presence. They've mostly evacuated. However, down here on MSR lease, uh, there likely will be some civilian traffic. And then down in AO Austria, outside of AO, there's still, uh, there's, there's certainly still a civilian presence down there. All right, next. All right, that's a brief us train analysis. So obstacles within our area. The enemy has the capability to place wire obstacles. We anticipate them doing so between our key terrain and the swamps and the significant slopes in between them. We'll see that in Objective Syracuse. We'll also see that down in Objective Buffalo. For absolute approach, we have Route 6 running east to west, and 293 running north to south, as well uh, as a significant network of ASRs running north to south and east to west throughout the area. This provides enemy mounted capabilities the opportunity for high-speed reinforcement of their own elements, and therefore an advantage. Off of the roads, you see dense vegetation, and, uh, <clears throat> Avenues of approach that are typically squad to platoon size, so that gives us an advantage as we intend to operate at that echelon through that area. When you're looking at key terrain, as already discussed, you have Burke Mountain, Rascal Mountain, Bull Hill, Black Cap Mountain, and Florence Mountain. For observation in fields of fire, due to the dense vegetation, anticipate being able to see and identify targets between 1 and 200 meters. And for cover and concealment, the enemy has established fighting positions and have designed battle positions on our objective areas. Slide. We expect to operate in temperatures between 29 and 69 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's probably not gonna inhibit our operations too much, but make sure your soldiers are wearing the right gear at night so you don't have some kind of cold weather casualty. Take note that night, uh, nighttime illumination on day two and day three is gonna be upwards of 96 to 99%. So even though the enemy doesn't have as many night division capabilities as we do, 
they'll still be able to see at night. So this gives them an advantage. Slide. All right, Charlie Five, like so, Captain John Goodwill. It's an enemy situation. In general, you've done a great job. As a result of the recent spoiling attacks, the special purpose attacks, we executed successfully the raids and ambushes, as well as the very successful defense on, on LZ Owl in the north side of uh, Firebase Buckner. We've attrited our enemy, the 3122 Oriani Motorized Infantry Battalion, attrited them to the south and pushed them south of our AO. However, that enemy is currently consolidating and reorganizing their force. And we expect they'll conduct a massive counterattack here shortly. Our enemy, the battalion supporting Operation 1, is a company minus element. They have recently seized some critical weapons to include armor and anti-aircraft capabilities from their Atropian counterparts in our AO. They've worked also to seize key terrain in order to start an interdiction, interdiction inside of our area of operations, focusing on Firebase Buckner, as well as establishing an enemy mission command node inside of our AO, AO Egypt. Tour into the our enemy dock camp. So here, supporting operate our shaping operation one, our enemy company that's coming back inside of AO Egypt that we'll be fighting against. They're broken down into three elements here. Their decisive operation, their DO, a motorized and armored platoon that has, is equipped with three T-72 tanks as well as two armored uh, armored armored personnel carriers and a logistics package. Their task is to disrupt in order to deny. Blue Forces Freedom of Maneuver inside of the AO. Second element, the enemy shaping operation one of the company section is two, two, sec, two squads, 14 packs total, and their key weapon system is that SA, two SA-7s, that anti-aircraft capability. Their task is to destroy Blue Forces in order to allow the Red Forces Freedom of Maneuver for their DO. Shaping Operation 2, also a section we assess to be 12 personnel total, broken down into two Ariadian squads. Key weapon systems they have, 82 millimeter indirect fire mortar asset, as well as a retrans capability so they can communicate all the way from south of our AO, north all the way to their SA-7s that are interdicting our air near Firebase Buckner and AO Belgium. Their task is to retain in order to allow freedom of maneuver for their company, DO. All right, for our sit down, generally the way this enemy will fight. DO is templated here. We expect them to go from south to north in order to disrupt our operations inside of AO Egypt. Shaping Operation 1, it's equipped with that key weapon system, those SA-7s that can interdict blue air operations, templated here. And then the Shaping Operation 2, the other Ariana Infantry section, which is down here on Objective Buffalo. Their task is to retain and provide that retrans capability and allow for extended communications and mission command for Red inside of the AO. Followed by the commander to talk most likely most dangerous. All right, guys. So I want to talk to you about how I anticipate this enemy fighting. Uh, real quick, though, a little background on this element up here with the anti-aircraft capability. So if you remember last week when we defended Firebase Buckner out on HUSL, right? You guys were like blasting BTRs with tow missiles and stuff. You guys remember that? Yeah, we blasted a couple tow missiles. Yeah. All right, good. You guys are heroes. While we were doing that, we received some reports that these guys were up further in AO Jupiter, and uh, they shot down a British helicopter, right? So they've capitalized on that. While we were while we were all Firebase Butner defending, they kind of infiltrated back into uh, the AO, and uh, they have they put these guys up near Objective Syracuse, and then they have a mission command cell down here on Florence Mountain now, right? So this element here, uh, these guys these guys have effectively shut down our air avenues of approach, right? So air is shut down right now, which is a huge advantage for the rest of this uh, this enemy. Because right, they can more or less, if they do come in, they can operate without any threat of, of air interdiction. All right, so huge asset for the enemy up here. However, you'll notice they're very isolated up north. Okay, so that's why they put this mission command cell here on Florence Mountain. They're the lifeline between these uh, the anti-air assets up here and then reinforcements down south. Okay, if a fight were to break out, these guys come under attack. First thing the enemy's going to do is they're going to try to call down to this mechanized platoon to dedicate them to come up and uh, help out in the AO. All right. As far as the specific battles, up here to the north against this, uh, the anti-aircraft capabilities, that's the third platoon's fight. I anticipate that fight, uh, if this enemy comes under attack, what they're going to do, they're going to put up an initial resistance, all right, defend themselves, but ultimately I think they're going to try to retrograde back north and get, and get out of the AO, all right? And I think they're going to do that because they simply can't afford to lose that anti-aircraft capability, all right? So they're going to protect it, they don't want it being destroyed or seized, so they're going to get out of there. I think it's a different story down here on Florence Mountain, though, all right? I think this, uh, this enemy, who is 1st Platoon's 
enemy, I think they're going to fight to the death. All right, and I say that because they can't afford to lose mission command. If they do lose mission command, these guys are stranded with their key, their critical weapon systems, and it totally eliminates their ability to use indirect fires or call on reinforcements. All right. So, first and foremost, I think you can anticipate these guys having very well uh, prepared fighting positions, battle positions, probably a good use of obstacles, probably a good counter recon fight going on. Um, so, expect to have to, to kill these guys in their foxholes. And then this mechanized platoon down here, when they are called, when or if they are called, all right, I think they're going to uh, come in fast and furious on the fire breaks, and they will be dedicated to getting to either one of the objectives, which will everyone they're called to, all right. So, they're bringing a lot of firepower with them two tanks couple BTRs. Um, this is 4th Platoon Weapons Company's fight, so they're well equipped to handle it. Um, but I think it's going to be a pretty a pretty heavy fight right there. Um, Alright, so that's that's how I anticipate the enemy reacting to this attack. Alright, friendly forces. Two levels up. Our brigade mission and intent, or brigade commander's mission and intent, are no change from the previous orders that we've had in the past few weeks from the company. Broken down by battalion, the DO, our battalion 128, tasks to retain AO Egypt, purposes to enable the government of Etropia. 187, infantry, shaping Operation 1 for the Brigade, templated here in AO Belgium. Their task is to retain AO Belgium to allow the freedom of maneuver for the Brigade DO. 132, infantry, templated here. Their task is to destroy enemy in AO Austria, and their purpose is to deny enemy freedom of maneuver for the Brigade DO. For the battalion, also no change for battalion mission, as well as battalion commander's intent. Alpha Company, 128, DO, their task is to retain Firebase Buckner in order to enable the government of Petropia. Shaping Operation 1, our company, Charlie Company, 128, task to destroy enemy anti-aircraft capabilities, and our purpose is to prevent enemy freedom of maneuver on the DO. And then Bravo Company, templated down here, Shaping Operation 2, their task is to disrupt the enemy in AO Fresno, and their purpose is to protect the eastern flank of the battalion DO. Followed by the commander. All right, so our mission. Charlie Company, 128 Infantry, the battalion shaping Operation 1. We will attack to destroy enemy anti-aircraft capabilities in the vicinity of Objective Syracuse, Whiskey Lima 788-808, no later than 010430, December 17 in order to prevent enemy freedom of maneuver on the battalion DO. I'll say again, Charlie 128 attacks to destroy the enemy anti-aircraft capabilities in the vicinity of Objective Syracuse, Whiskey Lima 788-808, no later than 010430, December 17, in order to prevent the enemy freedom of maneuver on the battalion DO. So the, the expanded purpose, the purpose of this operation is to deny that anti-aircraft capability within the AO, all right, and to prevent them uh, from interfering with Battalion DO's efforts to establish Firebase Buckner. The key task for this operation. Key task one, we must destroy those anti-aircraft capabilities up at Objective Syracuse. Key task two, we must seize the retrans capability down on Objective Buffalo, and then after both those operations are complete, we must be prepared for a counterattack from the area islands. The end of this operation in regards to enemy. The enemy anti-aircraft capabilities are destroyed on Objective Syracuse, and the retrans position is seized on Objective Buffalo, in regards to terrain, 1st and 3rd platoon are in a hasty defense, 2nd platoon has the assembly area secured, and 4th platoon maintains their screen down on MSR lease. In regards to friendly, the company is set in battle positions to the west and south of Firebase Buckner. And then in regards to civilians, the trophy civilians are warned to leave the area uh, due to a likely area on a counteroffensive. Next. All right, execution paragraph, concept of the ops. The purpose of this operation is to deny the enemy anti-aircraft capability within AO Egypt. To accomplish this, we will conduct a frontal attack. Decisive to this operation is 1st platoon seizing the enemy retrans position on objective Buffalo. Alright, so this is decisive because if we can seize that retrans capability, we will deny them indirect fires use and we will deny them the ability to call in reinforcements. 3rd platoon is the decisive op, with task and purpose destroy in order to prevent. First platoon is shaping out one with task seize, purpose prevent. Fourth platoon is shaping out two with task purpose screen in order to allow. And then second platoon is shaping operation three, the company reserve with the priorities of defend the company AA, reinforce the DO, or reinforce shaping out one. And the purpose of fires is to suppress, and then we're assuming tactical risk by not having mutually supporting objectives. Uh, but we're mitigating that risk by keeping second platoon in reserve so we can dedicate them to the north and south if we need to. 
This operation will be conducted in five phases. So phase one is planning and preparation. It begins upon receiving this order. It'll end when the company is staged and we're prepared to SP no later than 2100 on 30 November. Phase two movement begins when second platoon <coughs> SP is from gate 41, no later than 2200 on 30 November, and it ends once second platoon and headquarters are in A Albany, and then third platoon and first platoon are in their ORPs, no later than 02, one Dece 0200, 1 December. Phase three is isolation. It begins when fourth platoon initiates their movement to establish their screen, and it ends when third platoon and first platoon are in their assault positions no later than 0430 on 1 December. Phase four is the assault. It begins with first platoon Charlie initiating its attack on objective Buffalo no later than 0430 uh, on 1 December, and it ends once objective Buffalo and the retrans capability are seized, and then when the enemy anti-aircraft capabilities are destroyed on objective Syracuse. Phase five is the transition phase. So during this phase, uh, it'll, be, it'll begin once all platoons are consolidated and reorganized at their respective locations, and you've initiated a hasty defense. All right, and then this phase will end once we get a change of mission. Next slide. All right, concept of fires. Okay, beautiful, so, beautiful FSL. Thank you, John. For fires in support of this operation, we're going to have the, the brigades, the SFA battalion has given us a platoon of 105s uh, for the battalion. We'll also have access to the battalion's uh, mortars. Our company has priority of fires for the battalion's mortars for the duration of this operation. Fire support coordination measures that will be in effect during the operation include NFA and <clears throat> Raz Finger, as well as Albany, and those will be in effect throughout the operation, but you need to call up your OPs, ORPs, and battle positions so we can establish no fire areas over those locations so friendly fires don't land on your location. Your target blocks are as follows, and our fire support task is Suppressive fires, our purpose is to suppress in order to deny the enemy freedom to maneuver, and our execution will be in accordance with the plan that you develop for your platoon's maneuver plan. So you have to plan your own fires and use the weapon system that you're given by each phase. Slide. All right, skim and maneuver for phase one. Um, all right, before we start, so we're going to brief scheme of maneuver by warfighting function for each phase, all right? So maneuver, mission command, sustainment, protection, fires, etc. all right? So for first uh, phase one, again, this, op this phase begins, the opponent receives this op order, it'll end at 2200 on 30 November, uh, once we're staged and ready to SP. The key tasks are in this phase. Uh, at 1330 PLS, you'll come see me at the company talk. We'll do our confirmation brief. And then at 2000, we'll do bat briefs in the talk, all right? So specifically for your back briefs, I'm looking in, uh, I want to hear your, what you think the enemy's course of action is going to be, your maneuvers plan, your fires plan, your CASVAC plan, and then what your plan is for phase five when we transition into the hasty defense. Come to your rehearsals will be at 1600 tomorrow at HLZ Owl, so over by this blue star. And then for mission command for phase one, so myself, the XO, first sergeant, and FSO will all be at the company to talk over at star one here. FSO. So no change in the scheme of fires, but we'll conduct a fire support rehearsal after the company rehearsals are complete. For scheme of protection, you'll receive your sapper squad for first and third platoon. The sapper squad will be attached to your platoon, so that way you have a capability on hand to mitigate enemy obstacles on the objective. They'll have an anti-personnel obstacle breaching team, as well as uh, Bangalore, and at least two wire cutters to handle the wire that we anticipate there. For sure. All right, for medical support, as previously briefed, due to the fact that the enemy has anti-aircraft capabilities, we will not have air medevac capabilities until we've destroyed that anti-air anti -air capability on the objective Syracuse. During phase one for medical support, we are still located here at Firebase Buckner. If you assess any casualties during this phase, move them internal with your platoon assets to the battalion aid station, templated here right at star number six. Any nine-line medevac that needs to be called up for the duration of the operation will be called through Company net, which is free cop 325, alternate frequency hop 326. And the call sign for those medevac requests is Titan 7. Titan 7 is the platoon sergeant for the medic platoon. Phase 1 sustainment. Immediately following this operations order, platoon sergeants and supply sergeants will link up with me to draw this the following issue. Class 1, one day of supply, class 1. Class four, each platoon will draw 700 empty sandbags in support of their hasty defenses 
after their offensive operations are complete. Phase five, any additional AT4s, frag fragmentation grenades, incendi incendiary grenades, flashbangs, smoke grenades, as well as every platoon is required to make sure they're 100% unit basic load or UVL for their organic direct fire weapon systems. For class eight, every, medic, every platoon medic will restock to 100% of their class eight by linking up with a company medic at the battalion aid station. In addition, each platoon will draw five body bags, as well as 12 emergency heat blankets. And that's for any contingencies that may arise during the duration of the operation. Okay. All right, phase two. Phase two movement. This phase begins when second platoon SPs at Firebase Buckner no later than 2230 November. Uh, it ends when second platoon and headquarters are A Albany and then third and first platoon are in their ORPs. So at 2200, second platoon headquarters and the mortars are going to SP from gate 41, generally moving southwest until they hit the fire breaks. Then they'll head north up to Bull Hill and establish A Albany. At 2330, first platoon, you will SP on gate 41. Travel west or southwest along Avenue of Approach Niagara until you reach URP roughly in the city of Black Cat Mountain. At 2359 is when second platoon headquarters should uh, occupy A Albany. At 0030 is when third platoon will SP out of gate 57, and uh, they will travel north along Avenue of Approach Hudson to their ORP. And then at 0200 is the no later then time for mortar firing point finger to be established, and then for third and first platoon for you to be in your ORPs. All right, so. Third and first, make sure you're in your ORPs no later than zero two. When you do occupy your ORPs, make sure you call up the greater ORP to headquarters, right? Because we need to uh, deconflict fires um, and other things with your ORPs. The key calls for this phase. So key call number one: the second platoon has occupied A Albany. Key call two is MF uh, mortar firing point finger is established. Key call three is third platoon's ORP is established. Key call four is first platoon ORP is established. Uh, permission command for this phase. The XO and first sergeant, they're going to second platoon to A Albany, and then myself and the company medic will be traveling with third platoon um, up to Objective Syracuse, and we will be with them the duration of the operation. All right. So fires in phase two. One tiny will support two Charlie, the 801s will support one Charlie, the 60s will support the company headquarters, and our 105s will also support two Charlie. We'll put uh, Rod's finger and NFA Albany into effect, and there'll be no change to your scheme of protection. Uh, for phase two, for concept medical support. The company CCP will move from Firebase Buckner with myself, second platoon, and first sergeant and establish an assembly area at Albany. The concept of medical support for phases two, three, and four are until the destruction of the enemy air asset will be as follows. Titan 7, along with two Humvees, will be pre-staged out right outside of Firebase Buckner and have approximately 20 minute response time to one of six already templated AXPs or ambulance exchange points. Those AXPs are 1, 2, and 3 to the north along the avenue of approach for 3rd platoon to objective Syracuse, and AXPs 4, 5, and 6 are right to the south along 1st platoon's avenue of approach. The, grid, the exact grid locations for those AXPs are also written in the annexes and they're templated around the room for your review. Phase 2 sustainment. The LTV along with first sergeant will be available for tailgate resupply during the duration of phase two, three, and four, as well as a secondary Kazavac in the event that Titan One is tied up with another platoon, and you also call for a medevac or a Kazavac. All right, phase three, isolation. Phase three begins when fourth platoon initiates uh, their movement to establish their screen down south of Objective Buffalo, and it ends once they're in their screening position and third and first platoon are in assault positions. So fourth platoon, they will SP no later than 0230. Out of Firebase Buckner, uh, they'll move southwest along MSR Elise. Uh, and one note on this movement, so fourth platoon, ensure that you know where first platoon's ORP is uh, before you begin this movement, all right? So I don't, I don't think you're gonna come under contact during this movement, however, if you do, I'm a little worried about your direct fires or enemy direct fires hitting first platoon, all right? It's pretty close. So ensure you know where their ORP is so that we can mitigate fracture site. Uh, fourth platoon, once you are set in your screen, you need to call that up over a company net and you need to also let your adjacent platoons know, all right? That is because third and first platoon, you cannot leave your ORPs to do leaders recon or go to assault positions 
until you know that screen is set. All right. If you get compromised somehow during your leader's recon or going to assault positions and that screen isn't set yet, then you have a mechanized platoon and potentially an entire armored company coming for you. All right. So cannot afford to do that. Do not leave your RP until that screen is set. Key calls for this phase. So key call one is when 4th platoon Delta SPs. Key call two is 4th platoon Delta has established your screen and MSR lease. Key calls three and four are when 3rd and 1st have initiated leaders recon. And key calls five and six are 3rd and 1st platoon are in their assault positions. And for mission command for this phase, there are no changes. Episode. So in phase three, priority of fires for the 120s will be with one Charlie. 81s with two Charlie, 60s with three Charlie, and the 105s are also with three Charlie. No additional FSCMs and no change to your scheme of protection. Medical, no change for phase three. Sustainment, no change, phase three. All right, phase four, the assault. So phase four begins when first platoon initiates its attack on objective Buffalo no later than 0430, 1 December. And it'll end once objective Buffalo is seized and then the enemy anti-aircraft capabilities on objective Syracuse are destroyed. So first platoon, initiate your attack no later than 0430. Third platoon, I anticipate you can initiate your attack at 0530. However, that is a standby call until first platoon can confirm that they've seized the retrans capability. All right? The reason for that, I don't think this attack on objective Buffalo will necessarily trigger the reinforcements coming, but I'm quite certain that if these anti-aircraft, uh, this anti-aircraft element up here comes under attack, then they're going to call in reinforcements, all right? So I want, I want third platoon's attack to go off during enemy radio silence. I do not want reinforcements coming in. All right, so first platoon, it is imperative as soon as you can confirm that you seize that retrans capability and they, have, they do not have that capability anymore, you need to let us headquarters and third platoon know so that they can initiate their attack. For fourth platoon Delta, during this phase and during the uh, both attacks, you will maintain your screen down on MSR release so that you can interdict uh, that mechanized infantry platoon. And then second platoon, you're again you're the reserve, so you'll be in assembly area Albany, and you'll be uh, you must be prepared to one reinforce the DO up at objective Syracuse, or reinforce first platoon down at objective Buffalo. All right, so key calls for this phase. Key call number one is when first platoon initiates attack. Key call two, first platoon is seize the foothold on objective Buffalo. Key call three, first platoon has seized the retrans capability on objective Buffalo. And then key call four is when third platoon initiates their attack. There are no changes for mission command in this phase. So in phase four, fires uh, three Charlie. You'll have the 120s and the 60s giving you priorities of fires. And the 81s and the 105s will go with first platoon. This enables both first and third platoon to echelon fires as you move to destroy the enemy on your objective or, se or seize objective Buffalo. Ensure that you build that within your plan. As far as protection, there's no change for your uh, sapper support throughout this phase, but at the end of this phase, your sappers will depart and you can expect to receive a blade team to help you prepare your hasty defense. There's no change to medical for phase four, no change to sustainment for phase four. All right, final phase, phase five of the transition. So this phase begins when all platoons are consolidated and reorganized at your respective positions and you've initiated your hasty defense. All right, and then this phase will end once we get a change in mission. The beginning of phase five should consist of you guys finishing up CASVAC and the EPW procedures, all right? So I expect you'll have both. Make sure that you finish that before you initiate your hasty defense. All right, once you've confirmed all CASVACs and EPWs are taken care of, uh, then you need to begin establishing your battle positions, placing obstacles and doing good engagement area development. All right, so uh, first, second, third, you'll be doing engagement area development. Fourth platoon, you'll maintain the screen down south on MSR lease, all right? So whether or not the enemy's gotten a radio call through to reinforcements or not, I think at this point, they're gonna understand something has happened, and I'm quite certain that uh, the, that mechanized platoon is going to come attack, all right? So fourth platoon should bear the brunt of that, however, uh, first and third, you need to be prepared also, all right? There is a potential that could come from the west and maybe even the north, all right? So you need to design good engagement areas to make sure that you're ready to receive an enemy and defeat them. Key calls for this phase. Key call number one is all platoons are completed CASVAC and EPW. Key call two, third and first platoon have completed their sapper squad handoff and then they've received the blade teams. Key 
Good call three is that 4th platoon Delta has confirmed or denied the enemy counterattack from the south. Key call four, all platoons have uh, battle, position, yeah, battle positions established. And then uh, key call five, all platoons obstacles are in place. For mission command for this phase, I will still be with third platoon at the beginning of this phase, however, I'm planning on moving down to first platoon, all right? So I expect the counterattack to come down from here, uh, so I'm gonna move south uh, to be there for that. So first platoon, be prepared to receive me in phase five. So fires in phase five. Four Delta will have priority support from the 120s and the 105s. And first platoon have priority support from the 81s. And second platoon will have priority support from the 60s. Additionally, uh, we need to establish no fire areas over your battle positions because as the air threat's been removed, we're, we'll be able to bring in uh, fixed wing and fast mover aviation to provide additional support against the armor threat. <clears throat> For protection. Uh, our Sabre Squad has been departing no later than 1,100 hours, and they'll be replaced by a, uh, a blade team that's got, also got an eye heavy in it, and you'll have that team on hand until 2,100 hours. For that, you need to plan three fighting positions and at least, or sorry, no more than 300 meters of wire obstacles for your defensive positions. Our medical support for Phase 5. Upon the destruction of the enemy anti-aircraft system on objective Syracuse, air medevac will be restored. Expect and plan for a 10 minute response time after your nine line medevac for air medevac arrival to HLZ's Crow, Bull, and Matic. You are also encouraged to plan and establish your own organic platoon HLZs for medevac and an area you see fit during that phase. Titan 7 along with his two, two vehicle Humvee, after we have 100% accountability of every person inside of the company. He will transition from a Kazavac mission to an EPW retrograde mission to help your platoons. So the exact same one through six AXPs briefed earlier, those are locations you can consolidate your enemy prisoners of war for your respective objectives, call up and Titan 7 will remove them back to Firebase Buckner. Phase five for sustainment, on call, also because the enemy anti-air has been destroyed, You'll have on call one sling load with 300 meters of concertina wire to support you in your defensive preparations. At this point, we expect the LMTV resupply to be exhausted, so also on call is a speed wall with class one, three, five, and eight, if you so desire, during this phase. Okay, right. okay so we briefed paragraphs four and five of the operations order throughout the scheme of maneuver. Okay, so this concludes your op order brief. If you need the details for sustainment, command signal stuff, we've got them all around the walls here, right? So feel free to look at those. Um, also, feel free to come up and ask those questions. So you have the rest of the class to complete your warning orders. Good luck.